Your message to the people of Japan, where he urged people living between 20 and 30 kilometers from the Fukushima number one nuclear power plant to stay inside their homes or workplaces. People within 20 kilometers of the plant had already been asked to leave. And followed by Prime Minister's message, Chief Cabinet Secretary Yukio Edano said that a dangerous level of radiation has been detected around the crippled reactors. Now, the readings were taken at 10.22 a.m. Japan time. Edano said 400 millisieverts of radiation was detected around the number three reactor. He says this level of radiation is harmful to human health. He said 100 millisieverts was detected around the number four reactor and a reading of 30 millisieverts was recorded between the number two and number three reactors. So now we are talking about levels that can impact a human health. I would like all of you to embrace this information calmly. But these are readings taken near the area where we believe that the release of radioactive substances is happening. The further away you get from the power plant or reactor, the value should go down. <laughs> Chief Cabinet Secretary Yukio Edano also says that a fire has broken out at the number four reactor at the Fukushima number one power plant. He said that the reactor was not operating at the time of Friday's earthquake. He says the fire appears to be the result of a hydrogen blast, the same cause as two early explosions at other reactors number one and number three. The hydrogen was probably emitted by spent nuclear fuel inside the reactor. And Tokyo Electric Power Company says flames are coming from the fourth floor on the northwest corner. No casualties are reported. Firefighters are now trying to stop the blaze from spreading. And Fukushima number two nuclear power plant, which is 11 kilometers from the number one plant we've been talking about. Tokyo Electric Power Company says the number two plant, not the number one, had safely stopped all four of its reactors as of Tuesday. There were problems with the reactor's cooling systems after the devastating earthquake on Friday. And after Tokyo Electric replaced their pump motors, the temperatures in the reactors had dropped below 100 degrees Celsius by Tuesday. This is number two uh, power station in Fukushima. U.S. Navy's 7th Fleet says 17 crew members have been exposed to low levels of radiation that was released from the Fukushima nuclear power plant. The crew was on the three helicopters from the aircraft carrier USS Ronald Reagan. They were conducting rescue operations outside Sendai City. According to the 7th Fleet, they were they were detected with low levels of contamination. But it says the radioactive materials can easily be removed with soap and water. It has not detected any more contamination. The helicopters were also coated with radioactive traces that had to be washed off. The Navy said the source was a plume that was released from the Fukushima number no. one nuclear power plant. The dose in this case is less than being exposed to radiation naturally in one month. The aircraft carrier was at sea about 160 kilometers northeast of the plant. Hydrogen blast occurred at one of its reactors on Saturday. The U.S. Navy says the Ronald Reagan and other 7th Fleet ships have been relocated. Now, all this is affecting the business world. Now, let's turn to business desk.